there she is. Never, ever again. Ever. Ever. Again. Will I haul a load with that truck? So I'm saying goodbye. I said goodbye already to the truck hauling materials. Um, food, etc. It's been a really good run. You know, despite the few issues I had in the middle of the lease to sensors, um, she's been really good. I've been very lucky. And being in a lease operator or an ace lease, you need a little luck on your side. And that luck is having a truck that's reliable. Having a truck that has very, very few breakdowns, um, which at the end of the day, when I look back on the time I've had my truck, it's been exactly that. It's been a reliable truck that served me well. Um, yeah, I'll throw some numbers out there. I haven't calculated the final tally, but I've made over 600 grand with this truck. Um, gross to the truck, of course. Last year being obviously the, the incredible year that we all had, or the year 22. And even still with the market being down, I thought it was gonna be a little worse than this. And at times, I get sucked up into the negativity because you're listening to it on, on it's everywhere. It's on the internet, it's on Facebook. It's, oh my God, the market sucked, prime this, prime that. Well, no, because now I look back, I just looked over my, uh, my last three months and yeah, I'm not up to par to where I was the prior tax season, but I'm not too far off, folks. So why is it that I'm doing well, my buddy Scott's doing well, and I'm sure there's a host of others out here that works with Prime that are doing phenomenal. All right. You know, and there's also folks out here who seem to be struggling and abandoning trucks and blaming everything blaming everything that's happening in their world on either a company or the market yeah the market's softer but I tell you what I'm almost inclined to say that this market is where this market was prior to having that incredible bull run that's that's us uh, that's financial terms for a, a market that's incredible We've leveled off. I think we hit bottom. And I think, you know, things will be what they are. You're not going to go like this and then like this. It's not going to gonna work like that. You know, COVID was a once in a lifetime, once in a hundred year process that was a perfect storm. That kept people out of restaurants and vacations and, you know, they had to stay home. And they panicked and they stockpiled. So because they needed so much material, food and stuff, they had no choice. But you had to run like a dog to catch up with the supply. Supply versus demand. Demand versus supply. But I don't understand like why people are failing. As a lease operator, you'd say what you want not for everyone we know that right what a we know that everything is not for everyone but you have to find your niche in life whatever that may be for me it turns out to be trucking why why does it work why does it work for me hey I love to drive absolutely the most important part of being in the trucking business is loving to drive, no matter what. Day, night, snow, rain, hail, wind. I've been lucky. I've been lucky as far as breakdowns are concerned. I've been lucky as far as weather's concerned. And I've been lucky getting at avoiding accidents. All right, there's been a couple of close calls. That's luck. I'll give you that. But the rest of it's all hard work. I don't, when I come here to Prime or to Pittston, my terminal, 
I don't sit around, folks. You know, FYI, I'm here because of truck. I'm either at a terminal for fixing a trailer that I'm in the process of going through, or I'm here because something broke. I'm not here to say, hey, fleet manager, I need a couple days off. I'm going to go play basketball, or I want to go use a swimming pool. If you don't know what a swimming pool is, it's on level six. Just kidding. I told my fleet manager early on, run me until I put up the, the white flag. Run me, run me, run me. Mom's got the freight. Come on, let's not let's be real. Now, is every load paying you five thousand dollars a load? No. I take loads that suck. I take loads that have mega massive amounts of tolls on it. And everything else under the sun, no different than anyone else is pulling. There's weeks where my my pay is subpar. Perfect example. Two weeks ago, I took home a check after my e fund and money on the Calm Data card. I took a check home for, well, I put money in the bank, $500. But I know if I look at it week to week, it's going to drive me absolutely crazy because the it's inconsistent, right? We're a 1099 employee. We're not W 2 where you get $900 a week. That's it. I like the fact that it's inconsistent because you never know from week to week what you're going to get. To me, it's boring Watch, looking at the same number week in and week out. I can't do any better unless something falls out of the sky like overtime. But I work my ass off, guys. It's 4.30 in the morning right now. I'm just now getting into my truck and going to sleep. I've been up since 4 o'clock this afternoon. I ran 960 miles. and I picked up the load last night. Or, I'm sorry, the night before. 21st. Yeah, we're at 23rd. Yeah. I picked it up the 21st. I ran it from Ohio to all Lake Kansas. Why? Because I ran 500, I ran 600 the first night, went to sleep, did my 10 hours, and I got up right away, didn't waste any time, and, and went. I, because I also took initiative and called the, the receiver and said, hey, listen, by chance, can I drop off, can I come early and you guys can unload me? And they said, absolutely, come whenever you want. So that's all I needed to hear. I skedaddled, didn't waste any time, didn't loudly gag. Anyway, that's not how I run my business. This is my business. Yes, Prime is the company I'm leased onto. Prime's clients is who I service. I hate to tell you this, guys, but Prime's... The amount of loads Prime has is immeasurable. I still, after three and a half years, go to places I've never been before. I just went to the place where I was just talking about. There must have been 25, 30 Prime trailers sitting there. They're everywhere. Prime is everywhere. So if you're saying that it's the company's fault or the, the market's fault, it's... No, look, look, look. Maybe you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, is, is being your own boss really it sounds lovely right it sounds it sounds really good i can do what i i can do what i want whenever i want yeah true but then you're not gonna make any money i work my ass off i don't go home every four weeks i go home now i stretch it out i used to go home six weeks i don't go home now 10 11 12 weeks i want to keep parlaying that week after week after week stack money so god forbid anything does happen i have an e-fund set aside that I can pay my truck because the truck no don't stop folks I can pay my truck. I can trade my truck note for two months, three months, sometimes. That's what. That, that's the mindset. My mindset is this, really quickly. And no one outworking me. And nobody out driving me. And no one outworking me in this company. That's what I'm saying to myself, and I believe that. I'm not saying that others don't have the same similar thought process because they do. They're successful. Those people who are successful at Prime are the winners, are the winners that think the way I do. My sleeping pattern is broken. There's times I sleep at night and there's times I sleep during the day. And yes, there's not, I haven't got a good, straight, six, seven hour sleep straight through in God knows how long. But I get enough sleep to where I'm, I'm awake, I know what's going on, I can concentrate. I mean, my driving record speaks for itself. 
But ain't nobody out working me. If you don't take that attitude as an owner off, lease off, whatever you want to say, then you're not going to be successful. You know, there's too many people that come in here, not just here, but um, generally speaking, that come into the trucking business or any other business because Tom Jones, Larry Fields are making hand, money hand over foot. And maybe they are, maybe they are, maybe it's, maybe it's BS. But those who are making money again want it. If you don't want it, and if you can't manage yourself and be self-motivated as a lease op, then don't don't waste your time because you're going to fail. You're going to be one of those persons that get disgruntled that's going to possibly leave your truck either on the side of the road or at a truck stop or maybe bring it back. If you do the right thing, you bring it back. And blame everybody but yourself. Sorry, guys. Prime's too big of a company, and there's other bigger companies. They're too big of a company to be their fault. Fleet manager's fault. Well, my fleet manager and I get along just great. I don't know anything about him. I don't, I don't know him. Boom. I don't know if he's married. I don't know how many kids he's got. I don't know if he has a dog. I don't know if he lives in a house, apartment. I'm not here to for him to become my best friend, and he's not here to become my best friend. We have an agreement. It's called... You send me loads, I'll take them. Just do me a favor. Put me in good lanes. Because I will take shit loads. I have. And I will continue to. That's just the way the ball bounces. Not every load can be 5,000, 4,000. They're nice. It would be perfect. It'd be, it'd be phenomenal. And, and, don't, and don't think for a second that I don't think. There are times when I get loads, I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to Jersey. I don't want to go to Connecticut. I don't want to go to California. I don't want to go to Oregon in February. I just don't want to do it. But I do it. I may bitch to my buddy, I may bitch to others, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up that load and I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna be there on time both ways. That's my fleet match is here to give me the business. Because if I make money, he's making money. I'm not here to pull him up and complain. What about the wash out of the trailer? That, that that's I leave that to my buddy Scott. We'll, we'll complain to each other. Because quite frankly, I'm tired of picking up trailers. I'm tired of picking up trailers that are not washed out and have a tank of fuel. Because I did it. I, tonight I brought I brought in a broken trailer. I brought in a broken trailer tonight and I filled it up with fuel and I went and washed it out. And I was behind four trucks at two o'clock in the morning. I take my job seriously, that's the point. Most of you don't. Not you, 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 my audience, but in general. Generally speaking, so don't get offended. And if you're offended, too bad. Get a pair of cojones. If you're not do, willing to do whatever it takes when you don't want to do it, especially when you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Don't, don't bitch and moan on Facebook and, and wherever, wherever, wherever. Am I completely happy with what, you know, with everything Prime does? No. No. But I, I also, I don't give a shit because it's, it's not, stuff that they do has no bearing on me. If they start telling me they're losing customers left, right, and center, damn, dude, get underneath the trailer, see? Breaking his shit, breaking his equipment. If, if they're telling me I'm start, they're starting to lose customers left, right, and center, then, then, then there's a problem. Uh, we have to make adjustments. But until that time comes, I don't care what Prime does. Because it's not affecting me. It's not affecting my loads. Not yet. Until it becomes a problem. Everything else is just... Time wasting. And, you know, even... I, I do fall for the negativity in some places. You know, I, 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 I'm like, I, I fall victim to it. And i like, hold on a second. got to stop listening to that. Because they're wrong. I've heard so many negative things about Prime even before I started here when I was when I was first researching this company four years ago and I have not experienced any of it none of it because I don't put myself into that that situation where I'm going to be part of the negativity I do my job that's all it is man go do your job you sign the contract to be a lease operator go do your job be responsible 
And hey, listen, if you want to turn down loads, turn down loads. I don't care what you do. That's just one load for me. In fact, two loads ago, I turned. I picked up a load that two people turned out. Why didn't they want to go to Atlanta at midnight? I have no idea. Oh, maybe because they, they, don't, they can't park? I, I don't know. Without hesitation, I took it because the money was great. Well, not great, but it was good. And that's why I'm. That's why my truck made over six hundred grand in three years. Real. You know, it's nothing wrong with going company. You want a steady paycheck. You want the benefits. You don't want no risk. You, you, you know, your truck breaks. No responsibility. You don't want to be responsible. And there's people like that. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Go company. Don't try lease because you heard somebody on the internet say how phenomenal they make ten thousand dollars a week every week. Because that's not true. Loads fall a certain way. Not every week's going to be a whole month. That's why you've got to look at quarterly or semi semi annually or annually. As long as you're putting money into the account every week, that's all that matters. All right, I'm done. Listen, think long and hard. Leasing has worked for me. It's worked for me so well that I'm stepping up to the next level, and that's ace leasing. It's no really, at the end of the day, it's no different than what I'm doing now. Except after three years, instead of getting a check, I'm getting keys. I'm much rather get the keys than the check. Yeah, you got to come up with down payment. You're going to come up with about 14 grand or so, depending on how much extras you get. That's an investment for yourself. You know, how many people make the money and spend it as fast as they make it and don't invest their money, don't make their money work for them? You work hard for your money, make your money work hard for you. Anyway, I wish everyone luck. I wish people would stop blaming everything on everybody else but themselves. And then, you know, they're never wrong. They're always right. Come on, man. Take ownership. Until I started doing that, I was making excuses and blaming every finger pointing to everyone too. Once you take responsibility for your actions, believe it or not, your life starts changing. Big H is out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of videos showing you the process because I don't know what the exact process is surrounding the truck. It's probably really easy, but again, it's one thing about Prime I must say that I don't like is that there's no instructions on how to. You've got to figure it out all for yourself. So I don't know if I've got to leave it fuel, half a tank, quarter tank, it doesn't matter, the depth. You know, I, I don't know any of that stuff. So those are all things that I think are important information. You know, I just found out late, you know, before, no one told me, not even success leasing, that it's got to go to the deal to detail shop first before you surrender your keys up at Whip Bay 47. These are all things that, you know, success leasing should be, truly be on top of. It's your truck. I borrowed your truck for three years. Can you at least give me, give us kind of an order, a pecking order of what you wanted us to do? So... With that being said, at the end of the day, I couldn't ask for a better company. <laughs> Sounds like I'm hypocritical, but no, it's true. I mean, <clears throat> their resources are endless. Biggest refrigerated company in the world, in America, not the world. And I'm, you know, I'm still making good money. So I don't know what other people are saying. And, if you're willing to work hard, I mean hard, folks. Again, last time I'm going to say this. If you're not willing to do whatever it takes, run the mornings, run afternoon, run the nights, go into snow, go into hell, go climb the mountains, stop making excuses, that's burning fuel, breaking my truck. You're all baseless BS. You're not willing to do any of that. Hey, don't become a trucker, and be certainly don't lease. Peace out. Good luck, everyone.